My hair is greasy as heck. And I need to shower this morning. But, I got two boys by myself, so the shower is going to be put on hold. I got all my shower stuff ready, and I got the boys' clothes out. As I said, a diaper change. Gabriel hasn't because he won't lay down, but he's drinking his tea right now. He also had cheese in my bed this morning. It's been a rough, it's been a rough start to the weekend. And now I gotta call my dogs in. So. There's a lot going on today though, so let's talk. So first off, today we're getting ready for my sister's bridal shower. And we have the yard to clean, the house to clean, stuff to prep, things to decorate. People are coming over anytime after 10, which is about two hours from now. We have to get everything ready for that and set up. It's gonna be so exciting. Okay, let's get this grease figured out. I'm gonna take a bath shower thing. And Gregory is with the boys. So, clean hair. Um, but I need to redo this part because it's something. And I'm gonna put my hair in braids because I'm gonna have it wavy for tomorrow. And then I need to put on deodorant and do my face stuff. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Uh, Gregory is outside with the boys, picking up sticks and moving them. The boys' room is clean, which is nice. Gregory did most of it. I helped a little bit. We've got laundry pretty much gathered, so I'm gonna pop to our room after this before we get started on the rest of the house, just before everyone gets here. So let's do my hair, do my face, and then we're gonna get to my room. like this all of the time, I probably wouldn't braid it. This is not what it's going to look like though. It's not going to have that wavy curly texture. So instead we brush it again and braid. Since the boys are still outside, I'm doing my face, and then I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup. Coincidentally, everything that I'm putting on my face, except one item, which is my highlighter, because I need to use it up, is from 100% Pure. I've talked about them before on this channel a lot. Um, but I do, I really, 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 really love their products. They are amazing. I have finicky skin, sensitive skin, not like the most sensitive, not like eczema-y, but like breakout-y and like just weird. It's a mix between like, I guess you could call it combination skin now, but when I was younger it was really oily and like I just had the hardest time finding something, anything that worked for me and I never used moisturizer and all that kind of stuff. They're incredible. And all of their products are so well made and everything that's in them, it's very clear like what you're putting on your skin and thus into your body because what we absorb through our skin goes into our body. And it's really nice to know that what I'm putting on my skin and into my body is good for me. Which is insane when you think about like makeup and like is it bad for you? Maybe not, but is it good for you? Definitely not. And then you come across this brand that's like amazing. They're just, they're amazing. So we did some moisturizer, some hydro drench cream, which I'm pretty sure I thought this was a PM like recommended use, but it's AM or PM. So those two I put on after using my like face wash when I was showering. Um bathe showering I guess. If you are interested in getting something from 100% Pure, I would recommend, although their makeup is amazing, I would recommend starting with skincare. They have a skincare finder so you can talk about like basically you put in what type of skin you have. So like oily, combination, 
normal, dry, whatever, and then what your biggest area of concern is. So I've gone back and forth between like oily acne and reducing redness. Uh, it used to be always oily acne. It's kind of the side that I tried on just because like if I get acne, it gets really oily and really bad. Um, but if I don't have a breakout, then it's kind of like the redness thing. So I've kind of gone back and forth, but I stick more on the oily acne side. And you can pick just one piece, but they have like seven to eight steps and add-ons and things that are good for your skin type that they offer and things like that. And it's just really helpful to like learn about skincare and it has the steps in order and everything and it's just it's really cool you can save the profile to your like your skincare profile to like your account and then like purchase those items or like you don't have to keep searching it up every time and then when things change they notify you and all that kind of stuff so it's really helpful for that um but otherwise they have tons of makeup that's affordable or more on the affordable side of makeup because it's you know based in plants and almost exclusively like edible makeup uh, which is crazy to think about it is on the more expensive side but sustainable beauty and just sustainable products are more expensive because that's why these unsustainable things came about because they were cheaper um, but it's worth investing in it lasts just as long if well it has the same expiration date as other makeup you should throw your makeup away after a year you should throw these away after a year if you haven't totally used them, but you get the same wear out of them. So I don't have any qualms with that and I love them. So I'm going to finish, I'm just putting on some eye makeup and highlighter and then we'll get started on my room. This is the look that we're going with, calling it a day. Um, but this room needs help. But first, I gotta go ask Gregory a pizza question. Then I'm gonna get to working on this room a little bit and just like tidying up. Most of it's my junk, so tidying up my junk and then getting that sorted so we can move on to the living spaces. So like out here and everything, and I can cook. And then we can go outside and work on that once my family gets here. Hopefully it doesn't take me forever. Hopefully. I don't have kids with me, so got to go ask a pizza question. Okay, I've been working away for a little while, and I cleared up this space when you first walk in. That took a minute. Most of this is cleared up. Got to do some sorting, moving things around, putting them in the correct rooms everything majorly I put all my makeup up here sorted it out really nicely set everything up so now to get to the rest of this today I've got this stuff up there moved one of those in there I gotta put that laundry away but that's not a right now thing and then Gregory I'm gonna have him help me move this box into a different closet um, I need to take all the candles out of there actually I think what I'll do is all of the candles need to go in a shelving unit on the other side of this closet. So I think I'm going to move the stuff that's in that shelving unit to the other closet. So I move all the stuff to that other shelving unit. We need to get this going, taken care of, and all the candles in there.
and in a decent enough spot. The rest will just be like cleaning stuff and reorganizing and like party stuff. So I'm going to go out and visit with my kids a little bit and my husband and then get started on cleaning the garage. Okay, current status. Um, let's get this thing done. Love, Genevieve.